the days of Valentino, we know a maid named Ethel was so bright and alive. Wacky do, wacky do, wacky do. But she was struck down by a trolley. Golly, said goodbye in 1925. Toodle -loo, toodle -loo. Ethel in heaven awaited patiently to earn her wings and be an angel fancy free. Sixty years later, the opportunity to help a family came through. Boop, 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 da do, 23 ska do. Back down to earth to teach the Preston's lessons. Richard, Lissy, Dwayne, and JJ, too. Now she must be a 1980s lady, down to earth, it's so angelical. Down to earth, it's quite a spectacle. Down to earth, it's just hysterical. She's down to earth, down to earth. You are what you eat, you know. Yeah? Well, I'd rather be a hot fudge Sunday or a brownie. <laughs> anyway, I want these sandwiches to look so special for J.J. and his little girlfriend. Oh, gosh, I wish I could meet her, but I gotta go home and make dinner. Mm. Let's see, have we talked about everything? Hair, nails, clothes, soap operas, diets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's everything important. <laughs> oh! Did you want to talk about anything? Well, I am concerned about world hunger and rising unemployment. <sighs> Next time. Hiya, doll. Say, How you doing? Well, I haven't seen you for a week. Oh, I've been doing all those reports. There was more red tape in heaven than this world ever dreamed of. I've had to grade every angel in my district. Did you turn in my grade yet? Oh, weeks ago. Yeah? yeah? Well, what was it? That's for me to know and for you to wonder about. Oh, come on, Jake, tell me. No, 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 I can't. But I'll tell you what I'll do to make up for it. What do you say we go out tonight on the town and celebrate? I have a better idea. I'm listening. Why don't you come here for dinner? Hey, where's everybody? Okay. See you later. Oh. <laughs> oh hi, Ethel. Hi, Dwayne. Oh. Sandwiches without crusts. Grandma's coming. <laughs> no, they're for J.J. and a little friend of his. Her name is Grace, and I think he kind of likes her. Mm. Hey, guess what? Our baby brother has a girlfriend. Hey, all right. Well, I don't know if it's a girlfriend exactly. Uh, I'll give him some advice based on my vast experience with women. <laughs> yeah, right. Advice from a guy who paid a girl $10 to go to a dance with him. <laughs> Well, turned out to be the best $10 I ever spent. Just one. Yeah, they're for, uh, they're for JJ's main squeeze. <laughs> so, what do we know about her? Well, not a lot. I think we can rule out smoking, drinking, and divorce. <laughs> he hasn't said very much except that he sees her every day. Every day? Hey, this is pretty serious. <laughs> yeah, they'll be getting married soon. What do you do at a stag party for a nine-year-old? <laughs> okay. Um, now, if, if you were in jail and were only allowed one phone call, uh, who would you call? Rudolph Valentino. <laughs> oh, come on, Ethel. This is a personality test. Uh-oh. No crusts. Who's coming to visit? Grace's. JJ's girlfriend. Oh. Well, at least it's not my mother. <laughs> so, uh... What else is on that personality test? Well, let's see. Um, okay, now, if you were on a raft in the middle of the ocean w with five people and one canteen of water, what would you do? Push everybody overboard. <laughs> I had to ask. Hi, guys. JJ, we were wondering what happened to you. Hey, where have you been? Well, where's the little woman? And I do mean little. <laughs> yeah. Where is Amazing Grace? <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Grace. <laughs> Would you like 
a sandwich, Grace? Can I have four? Oh, you can have as many as you like. Thanks. <laughs> it is so nice to meet J.J.'s family. Especially you, Ethel. I really want to get to know you. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. Yes, uh, well, uh... So, uh, Grace, how, how did, uh, you and, uh... J.J. get to know each other? At the duck pond. <laughs> we have the same favorite duck. Oh, I remember when I was a kid, I had a pet duck. Oh, boy, his name was Lassie. Lassie? Lassie? Yeah, well, see, I was allergic to dogs. Oh, but this duck was something special. He'd, he'd walk me to school in the morning, and he'd wait for me in the afternoon. I'd throw a, a stick for him, and he'd retrieve it. You had a retrieving duck? What happened to it? We ate him. Daddy, that's disgusting. Yeah, you, 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 you ate Lassie? How could you? Well, he drowned. <laughs> well, nobody's gonna eat our duck. They certainly aren't. Oh, this is my best boyfriend. Now, better only one. <laughs> I always loved this neighborhood. Well, uh, ha have you been here before? Every Thursday. <laughs> Trash, Trash day. day. Well, where do you live, Grace? Uh, at the bus station. Hey, Ethel, you want a milk set? Uh, no, no thanks. I, I, I'm trying, trying to quit. <laughs> uh, listen, would you like a uh, cup of tea? Got any lobster? Gee, no, I'm sorry. Well, uh, then I'll have the tea. <laughs> JJ, would you put the kettle on? Fancy neighborhood like this, I think you'd have lobster. Uh, well, we're, we're just a nice uh, middle-class neighborhood. Yeah, upper middle-class. Dwayne, look who you're trying to impress. <laughs> JJ is very fond of you, Ethel. Well, I'm very fond of him. How do you feel about Ethel? Uh, well, uh, she's uh, like a, a, a member of the family. Mm -hmm. She easy to get along with? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, she, she has her uh, good days and her bad days, don't you, Ethel? <laughs> Who doesn't? How about you, kids? You like Ethel? Yeah, we love her. Yeah, she's the best. Um, Grace, I am very flattered by uh, your interest in me, but I... Don't... Got a public restroom. <laughs> Some days it seems that way. Can I borrow a dime? Oh, Grace, it's for free. Oh. Uh, yeah, Lissy, uh, why don't you show Grace the way? Oh, sure, I'd love to. I hope you have one of them machines. You know, you put in a quarter and it squirts perfume in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you keep a clean house here, Ethel. That's in your favor. <laughs> Isn't she neat? Yeah, but why is she asking so many questions about me? You know, I think she's nice. Nice? What? Ethel, did you see the way she cased this joint? <laughs> she's got us fingered for a heist. She's probably got a fence out waiting for her right now. Oh, now, Dwayne, you've got to stop watching Miami Vice. Grace is not a crook. Now, I don't think she's going to steal anything. Well, except maybe my job. Oh, oh, oh. she's probably upstairs cleaning out our drawers right now. <laughs> What is she doing with that white glove? <laughs> Ethel, she doesn't want to leave any fingerprints. Hey, Grace is my friend. Talk about man's inhumanity to man. From now on, it is the whales, the seals, and the bag people. That poor woman is a symbol of everything that's wrong with our society. Do you know what she needs? A bath. <laughs> she takes baths. Oh, yeah? Where, in a car wash? <laughs> Listen, everybody, this is our chance to really make a difference in someone's life. I mean, if we invite Grace to stay with us and she'd have love, a home, a family. All our valuables. 
Hey, Grace could have Dwayne's room. He could share mine. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not moving in with you and all your frogs and lizards and snakes. Dwayne, that poor woman has nothing. She's a pitiful creature stumbling through a world that neither wants her or needs her. I mean, she asks for so little. A crust of bread, a warm place to sleep, a little tenderness and caring. I mean, she wants what everyone else takes for granted. Now, how do you feel about her? <laughs> I love Grace. She can have my room. Dwayne is so adjustable. Well, let's get into the kitchen before Grace hears him. Oh, come on. Now, Dwayne, Grace can have my room. No, Dad, she can have my room. No, I want her to have my room. Oh, boy, Grace is going to stay with us. Bedroom spotless, bathrooms neat as a pin. Grace, <gasps> what are you doing here? Jake, stick a sock in it. Now, you'll blow my cover. They think I'm just a bag lady. Yeah, but what are you doing here? Headquarters sent me. Oh. We know that you and this Ethel were good friends. <laughs> Even before you died. <laughs> so all these reports you've been turning in in headquarters smell just a little fishy. I'm here to find out just how good an angel she really is. Well, Grace, take your pick. Any dress you like. Where do you get clothes like this? In a thrift shop? <laughs> well, yes and no. Are you thrifty? Yes. Loyal? Yes. Trustworthy? Yes. Reverend? L Grace! That's the Boy Scout oath. I thought it sounded familiar. Grace, you know, I don't mean to be rude. But I am getting a little tired of 20 questions. Now, why are you so curious about uh, me? Ethel, these clothes are right out of the silent movies. Now, uh, don't you have anything a little more, oh, current? I love the 1920s. I know. Wait, what do you mean you know? Uh, uh, I don't think these dresses are going to fit. Ethel, you're too short. Ah, uh, Grace, look, I want to know how you know that I love the 1920s. Grace! Candy and I went through all her makeup, and we've decided what look you should have. Yeah, the tawny look. <laughs> the tawny look? You know, dirt colors. <laughs> Candy, I think you mean earth colors. <laughs> Maybe we'll dye her hair. Huh? I think it already dyed. <laughs> oh, come on, Candy, let's go get ready. Don't worry, it won't take long. I hope not. I'm going on vacation in June. <laughs> that Lissy is a real nice girl. Mm -hmm. How much credit do you take for that? Well, I haven't been here so long. <laughs> but you probably know that. <laughs> Don't be silly. Uh, Grace, <laughs> JJ and I have a present for you. Great. I love presents. Ta-da! <laughs> we thought the canvas would last longer than the paper. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that nice? It's like getting a whole new house. <laughs> we even waterproof them. Oh. You boys are so thoughtful. Oh, and you're sewing very nice. How's your sewing, Ethel? My sewing is great. And my cooking is great. And my cleaning is great. And my dusting is great. Okay? <laughs> hey, Richard, you want to dance? Ah, uh, I, I beg your pardon. No, dance. Swing. Boogie! Uh, well, I'm afraid I'm not uh, much of a, a boogier. Yeah, well, you got the legs for it. Hey, when do we eat? Ethel, Grace is hungry. Yeah, do you always eat this late? Uh, yeah, Ethel, uh, why don't you fix dinner? Fine. I'll fix dinner. Yeah, I'll fix dinner. Anything to make everybody feel better. Especially Grace. Cranky little Dickens, isn't she? Ethel, Grace is hungry. And, oh, 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 my goodness. Ugh. Oh. Ethel McDougan. Well liked by the family. Tidy housekeeper. Good cook. Eyes too blue. <laughs> what is this? Seems to have things in control. Seems to have. Oh, I'm going to find out about this. Oh, 
Grace! Could I see you in here for a minute, please? What's up? What is this about? <laughs> You're an angel. Rats! I blew my cover. Well, just who are you? CIA. Central Intelligence Angel? Well, well, why are you spying on me? I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, I have never been so insulted in my life. Or death. Look, it's this way. Now, we got Jake's reports on you, and they're perfect, perfect. And let me tell you something, Missy. There's nothing on heaven or on earth more suspect than a perfect angel. Perfect? Oh. Jake! Hiya, doll. What's up? The CIA is up. How'd she find out? I goofed. Oh. Jake, how dare you call me perfect? Well, in my book, you are, doll. <sighs> Nobody wants to be perfect. Do you know what a responsibility that is? Nobody believes it anyway. Well, I, don't. I don't have time for this. I got other angels to investigate. No, I'm splitting, Jake. I'll see you upstairs. Oh, no, you don't. You come back here. <laughs> All right. What kind of an angel are you? You know, I don't care if you are CIA. You can't come waltzing in here acting like a crazy lady and get the sympathy of the whole fam... My whole family family, and then you're deciding to leave? Just take it easy, doll. Take it easy. My job is finished. Tell him I hit the streets again. Hey, put it away. <laughs> now, do you know how disappointing it is when somebody's determined to do good and nobody will let them? I mean, you're not going to do that to my family. Well, uh, like Grace said, it, her job's finished, doll. In a pig's eye. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, you march. You march right back in there, and you let them shower you with love and affection and consideration, or I'll, I'll... You what? I, I, uh, I'll have you investigated. I swear I will. I'll go right to the top. <laughs> Boy, do you look handsome. Oh, well, I figured it was the least I could do. After all the trouble you went to making dinner and everything. What are you looking for? Uh, dance records. I thought maybe later we'd all boogie. You? Boogie? Well, why not? I I've got the legs for it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Where's Grace? Oh, uh, she's upstairs with Lissy getting her finishing touches. <sighs> What a job. I mean, it's like climbing Mount Rushmore. I think you mean Mount Everest. Yeah, Candy, uh, Mount Rushmore is where they carved the faces out of the side of the mountain. Oh, that's right. Like Washington, Jefferson, and Walt Disney? That's the one. I think I'll go upstairs and see if I can help. You know, I haven't been this excited since they invented the chicken nuggets. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Dwayne. What are we gonna eat? As soon as the guest of honor comes down. I'm starved. <laughs> you know, I hope I can survive staying in JJ's room. With the frogs and lizards and snakes? Oh, no, I put those in Lissy's room. <laughs> Think she found them. Oh, Dwayne, you shouldn't have done that. Well, Dad, look, we all have to make some sacrifices. It's gonna be fun having Grace around for a while. Well... I wouldn't plan on Grace being here for very long. Why not? Well, people like her, spirit, I mean, free spirits, uh, they don't change very easily. You know, Ethel, I think you may be right. Well, Grace is ready. Dad, she wants you to escort her downstairs. Me? Well, that's quite an honor. Am I on time? Just. The unveiling is about to happen. Wait till you see her, Jake. This is one of those moments I'll treasure for the rest of my life. I feel like Michelangelo must have felt when he carved David out of a block of marble. Yeah, tired. <laughs> well? How do I look? Perfect. Oh, thanks, Ethel. 
Grace, you're a knockout. Where'd you get the dress? Neiman Marcus. There's a dummy standing stark naked in a window in Beverly Hills. Well, shall we uh, go into dinner? Grace? My pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you did it again, doll. You are perfect. Not quite. I burned the pot roast. Oh. Hey, make sure you put that in your next report. Okay. Talk about eat and run. Well, she had to get the leftovers down to the bus station before they got cold. Uh, I'm gonna miss her. I wonder if I'll ever see her again. You never know. She was my greatest creation. She said she'd meet me in the park someday. Well, then she probably will. Well, what is this? Ethel McDougan, well-liked by the family, tidy housekeeper, good cook, eyes too blue. That's mine. Uh, it's notes for my autobiography. Hmm. Eyes too blue? Richard, nobody is perfect. <laughs>